back here with the commentary box by Emily Eamon. Great start that for China. Great start. China right away asserting their dominance, trying to win that serve and pass battle. Good tip finish there. Ball set to wing side. Good holding serve off the off the bat here. Chinese, the, the server Diao in for the serve. 21 year old digs as well. It's uh, the libero who has to set it, and that's a good hustle from the uh, wing side there. Uh, China get through the block, and now they're back in the lead at 7 6. Incredible out of system play from the libero, chasing this ball down and putting up a perfect ball. So Ling Ying Ying, the outside with that lefty hand, can go. We've played every VNL. That serve line now is one of them. You are balls in play. There's the set, and there's that diagonal comes across the front of the block, nice and tidy, 9-8. Great communication between Li Yingying, the outside, and their setter, bringing that set in. Not quite an outside set, but right over the quick. Sets off the net. Contain it a little there with that block. There's a mistake from uh, Korea, and China go 10-8. Couple of mistakes there in that rally. Yeah, well, that's exactly what's going to happen if you give Li Ying Ying an overpass. She's going to put it right back at you with some heat. Korea has to do a better job of controlling some of those harder hits and just get them up. Yeah, not enough pressure on that serve, really. Nice, smooth transition. Li on the end of the attack. Nice smooth finish. With that easy server's pressure, what that does is it really stress. They're forced to use the outside. That's an easy block for China. Once again, there's great cover over the middle of the net there. Again, it's two on one. Korea have to go up and over the top. OK. And China out of system here. And again, it's the libero, the auxiliary setter right now. That's the way to do it. The finish from Lee, diagonal, deadly. Korea cannot figure out that lefty swing of Li Ying Ying. She is going after it. If you have a lefty on the outside, it changes where the block has to be. Press on China's blockers. Hung Ho Yung now with the serve. And they go down the pipe. And that's the finish. Again, it's a service pressure from Korea. They have to pick it up because China's in the perfect position to set four hitters anytime. Who goes to the opposite side with a serve that time. Korea get that transition, setting to wing sides. And there's the finish. No worries from Lee. Always in control. Li Ying Ying adds another China 22, Korea 14. In a stunning press push from the setter, almost in the back corner, still gets Li Ying Ying the perfect ball that she wants. At the uh, Libero, two on one. It's that same outcome. China take the first set inside 20 minutes here, Emily. That was impressive. A dominant performance from China and really relying on that defense. The block doing an incredible job, not just getting those four stuffs in that set alone, but getting that's it's so difficult to block if you're Korea. Wang Shan Yu with the serve. Attack down the middle, no worries, no worries whatsoever. Lee again, 7-3. They just contained with that block again, didn't they? And it's making Korea it... just don't have the answers. Yeah, they don't have the answers, especially in these transition plays. China looks like a well-oiled machine distributing the ball well, even if they're in a tough situation when it's still catching Korea off guard. You are now with the serve. There's the up and over. Wu gets in the way. Very busy at the net. And now a lovely swing there from Lee. Just round with that to left shoulder across the front of the block. And a quick tempo outside. Watch how fast this is. The blockers don't have time to set up before this ball's already out there and she's going up and over them. Lee Juane. China to work and scramble to defend that serve. So they have their side out, at least here. You can tell that Korea is putting a little bit more service pressure on. Yes, they've missed a few during this set, but they're really testing out China. 
on that serve receive pattern. They're having to dive for a lot of balls, going right in the seam. Korea doing a serve in play. They're trying to go into the middle, and uh, that lefty swing again from Lee Ying Ying. Gets the ball down on the floor, it's two sets to nothing, it's China on the, the roller coaster here. They are in control. Korea just can't get a set or a match from anywhere, it seems, in the VNL. That long unbeaten run. That win, yeah, they might only get one world ranking point, but that's so important for this team that has to finish really essentially just above Japan in world rankings at the end of VNL prelims to qualify for Paris. Yeah, and of course he wants a winning team, he wants a winning start here, just to get the sort of confidence and the, the mood of the camp up to where it should be. If you, you cut nine, nine here, set three. Jong ji the serve line for Korea. As he ups off the net. Ibero with that set, so China getting Korea out of system. This is the opportunity for them. They go down the pipe. A lovely little switch around at the last there. They were waiting for Lee to really give it full power, but she ends up just tipping. Such a smart decision, looking like she's going to make that swing at the last second, dropping that elbow, throwing in the tip to the perfect spot where there's no defense. At the serve line. Float on that, pick up, Korea and down the pipe, but again, there's no real conviction through that swing. If you're talking about conviction, that's what we're talking about. It's Lee again from wing side. Every time the ball gets in her airspace, you expect China to score. And what we're seeing is conviction on China's side, and then from Korea, no conviction. And you see Lee Ying Ying, she's going to continue to bring it. Lee Da Yong, the blocker. That serve again, a little, little angle on that. And they keep it live there, Korea. That's better. Still in the game, not for long. That's the difference between China and Korea. You see broken plays on China's side. They're able to get the ball over and capitalize on them. For Korea, they're just happy to get that ball up and over. China, if you give them a free ball, this is exactly what's going to happen. They're going to be one on one, and that ball's going to hit the floor. Come short again, almost a gimme that. It really is, isn't it? No problem to pass without the spin on the serve. Setter in position, has options, goes to the outside, job done. This is textbook, exactly what you want, especially from an outside that's passing that ball. It's a perfect pass, and she uses that momentum into her approach to put the ball down. Tough to watch again. 17 7 is the lead. Way off the net, they try to pick it up. Ribeiro has to set it. And missed that one. first attempt there with Gong. Might even get another though. And she does get another. And uh, at the second attempt, makes uh, no mistake. So they miss that first attack, but again, Korea. They just, uh, they just can't do it, can they? And it's a transition play. They're not great out of system when they put that ball up, maybe high to the outside or even middle back. They're not able to capitalize on it. Better serve. A little bit more fizz on that. Oh, that's better. Yes. So the serve, a bit more aggressive. And then they locked in with a block. That's what a good serve does. It forces that ball out of system so your block can line up. They give me a goal back in 2016, but they beat Brazil en route in the, the quarterfinals here. A stunning night that was. Real attacking. China just deflecting with that first block, and then they uh, get, the, get the kill as well. Feathered from Gong just to the inside. Korea just had that little run on serve, but China just uh, re-established the dominance, reminding the Koreans who are boss, who's boss here. It's not always those hard aggressive. Twelve blocks to five. That count was reasonably even. Not the start of the second set, but China has really wound it up since then. <laughs> 
every point being celebrated by the uh, Korean party now, and you can't blame them for that. So it's 13 plays 23, but how much longer can they delay this execution? There it is, job done, China win and start their campaign here in Rio de Janeiro in the perfect way, looking of course to qualify for the Paris Olympics here. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to Power Volleyball for more volleyball videos.